What's happening, folks? Working our way along through the Human League's travelogue. We're back for the next reaction. I'm very excited, and the reason I was thinking about it that way is because, as I've mentioned a number of times, when we get to the end of this album, and there's also a couple tracks called The Men in this folder, or given the artist name The Men, and Han Solo told me that was a name they used post the dissolution of this early lineup of Human League, but before they had become Heaven 17. So ultimately, uh, we'll listen to those two tracks as well, but when we get to the point where we're done with this folder for Travelogue, the 1980 album by Human League, uh, I'll begin going through the next Human League album, obviously with a very different lineup, as well as Heaven 17 at the same time, and I've been looking forward to that journey for a while, so it is on my mind as we go to the next tune. Uh, and the next tune on Travelogue is called The Touchables. It's interesting, it makes me think of the, you know, the Elliot Ness related movie, The Untouchables. I think that came out after 1980, so um, I can't imagine. Now, I do think that was based on a book, so I guess there could be a relationship, but I doubt it. I feel like that is exceedingly unlikely. Um, so it just makes me think more generally about the opposite of being untouchable, the, op the idea of being vulnerable, um, of being exposed, of being um, grabbable to someone else, you know, the idea that someone could um, accost or apprehend or otherwise impede you because you are not untouchable. Um, so yeah, whether it's done in a style to contrast it with that, I think, more typical phrase, like you hear the word untouchable far more than you hear touchable. Um, so the touchables, again, if it's not a contrast to the more familiar term or phrase, uh, the untouchables, then I'm not quite sure what to do with it other than to say perhaps it relates to vulnerability and being exposed in a way that you would not be were you untouchable. So in any case, let's find out. This is The Human League. The tune is The Touchables and it's from the 1980 album Travelogue. <laughs> The first line of the song being speaking of which is hilarious. Kind of like sports organ kind of thing. Vulnerability. 
what are the lyrics then I thought there might be in terms of there were actually a lot of lines, some of which I did catch, um, but still not enough to get a sense of how it all pieces together. Uh, but it did seem like some moments we were talking about vulnerability, fragility, um, and I gotta say, I mentioned, um, or they mentioned Achilles' heel. It's so stupid, but, you know, having read um, not only the exploits of uh, Achilles and Hector and so on um, in my youth, uh, it's still ridiculous that now, because I saw that Brad Pitt movie, you say Achilles, I think of Brad Pitt in that dumb movie. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just a weird little uh, thing that when that line came across, that's where my brain went, which I'm like chastising my brain, like, you know, that um, that story has been around for millennia uh, before that movie was made, uh, and yet now that's my brain's association with the word Achilles. It's ridiculous. Nevertheless, um, a cool tune, one that had a bit more kind of bright, spunky sort of attitude than I would have expected, uh, especially when it really rolled in with those energetic, um, I guess, choruses. I guess that's the chorus. Um, and like I said, even the second time, kind of knowing the sequence that I had heard before, it still sort of, you know, surprised me and invigorated me in the moment. So um, I enjoyed the composition. It did seem, like I said, a bit lighter and brighter than maybe I would have expected. And perhaps that's just because I'm still thinking um, about the attitude or the, the vibe of reproduction, which did feel a bit darker and a bit more murky uh, than this album has, at least so far. So. Um, yeah, cool tune. I enjoyed it. Got to listen to it some more to pick up on the lyrics and understand the, the nature of the touchables more. Although, again, um, there was another moment where it felt like it really was about something being tactile and tangible and something that you can actually grab it rather than it being conceptual or hypothetical and so on. Um, so, yeah, some interesting layers, even if I'm not sure how it all fits together. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.